There's been a lot of debate about looting and uh, protests turning violent. What do you say about those who criticize some of the actions of the protesters over the last week? Um, okay, so I think, I think it's important to remember the way that especially the United States, but other places as well, um, how they portray looting and how they conceive of what constitutes looting, right? Because, you know, you and I are old enough to remember Hurricane Katrina in 2005, right? And I think we all, well, I think we were probably 15 at that time. So we all remember watching, right, survivors of the hurricane who had been, you know, wading in flood water with dead bodies, right? Trying to find stores so they could get food and medical supplies, right? And being met by police because they were being accused of looting. Like these are people who are in need and suffering under the worst ecological catastrophe that we've seen in our lifetime. And they were called looters, right? And I think one example that comes to mind was, um, you know, the survivors that attempted to cross a Danzig Bridge in New Orleans um, in order to get food and medical supplies, and they were shot by the New Orleans police because they had suspected them of looting, right? So this is, this is the way that the United States has presented the problem of looting. The problem of looting has always been one of viewing people in need, right? and doing something to address that need as looting. Um, so that's the context I think we need to understand the way that looting has been crafted, especially in the media. But what looting really is, is looted land from indigenous people, looted labor and lives of black people for hundreds of years on this continent. We also need to talk about the fact that 40 million people are out of work in this country and standing in lines at food banks, right? Hospital workers and restaurant employees are exposing themselves to COVID because the government decided to bail out corporations instead of giving needed funds to medical and frontline workers to pr protect themselves, right? Looting is a system where Jeff Bezos made billions of dollars during a pandemic, right? And is on track to become a trillionaire because he monetized this crisis that people are suffering under, right? That is looting. Looting is what capitalism subjects working people to every single day, right? So even if every single storefront was smashed and every single item stolen, right, it wouldn't amount to a decimal or a fraction of what's been taken from ordinary Black and Indigenous people and what continues to be taken from us today, right? And we also have to remember that destruction of property is not violence, right? Destruction of property is actually one of the oldest and most durable forms of nonviolent protest, right? There's actually no such thing as violence against property. Property isn't people, mm -hmm. right? Property against violence is not a thing. It doesn't exist.